Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today we're going to make a Passion Grove Swizzle. Now, this is an interesting tiki-style cocktail that, of course, based on its name, means that you have to swizzle it. But I don't own a swizzle stick. So there's a way around that, and as we get through the cocktail, I'll show you exactly how you can do it. And I'll tell you a couple of other options that you can use when we actually get there to fit sort of your preferences. Now, this is an interesting cocktail for its flavors because it has like a few different things in it. And it's going to be a slightly stronger cocktail, but it's not going to be overwhelming. So let's talk about the ingredients. The first thing I'm going to use is a little bit of Ray and Nephew Overproof Rum. This is a Jamaican pot still rum, and it's 63%, which is 126 proof. And it'll have all sorts of fantastic, um, those banana funk flavors that you get to know from a Jamaican uh, rum. The next is a little bit of Fortress Rum, which is 45% ABV or 90 proof. Now this starts out its life as a Jamaican rum. However, it moves to the east coast of Canada where it sits in the Mag Roy for you know six months to a year or longer. And they give it gives that a unique aging experience for that type of rum because it's right on the Atlantic Ocean. The next thing we're gonna use is a little bit of homemade Flurnum. My friend Rob from Rob's Home Bar sent this to me. Love the stuff when he makes it. We need a passion fruit syrup, which will give us a little bit of those passion fruit flavors. We need, of course, another citrus, which is lemon. And we're going to use a little bit of pineapple juice. So grab yourself your shaking glass. Now, I'm using a pint glass. You could use a tin if you want. And because you don't have to shake this, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes because the directions actually in the cocktail, uh, the directions when you read the ingredients tell you that you should actually build this in a cooler cup. However, we do need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now your next ingredient is your fortress rum. Now the recipe itself calls for a light rum and I just chose to use this because A, I like the flavor of this rum and this one blended together because they work really, really well. Um, and I just sort of wanted to keep that Jamaican funk without actually having other flavors to kind of commingle and make adjustments to it. And we'll use a total of one ounce or 30, uh, that's the wrong amount. Uh, it's actually an ounce and a quarter, which is 37 and a half mils. Your next ingredient is the flurnum. And you could use something like a velvet flurnum if you want. However, I got this fantastic one that's just slightly different on the flavor and it works really good in tiki cocktails. Now you do need a total of half an ounce or 15 mils. Now your fourth ingredient would be your pineapple juice. And they recommend that you use fresh pineapple juice because it'll really bring out those natural flavors because fresh pineapple juice just does things. Um, I don't happen to have any, but I do have a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. And you're gonna use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Your next ingredient is going to be your citrus element. And that of course is your lemon juice. We don't need a lot for this, but I am gonna give it a bit of a roll just to loosen everything up. And what we'll do is chop the end off, makes it easier to squeeze. Grab yourself about half the lemon because what you need is a total of three quarters of an ounce, which works out to 22 and a half milliliters. And your final ingredient is your passion fruit syrup. Now this is just passion fruit mixed with uh, sugar and water. And I bring it up to just shy of a, of a, <laughs> uh, just shy of a, uh, <clears throat> of a boil and I let it simmer for a while till it thickens up and actually pulls all the flavors out. So we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. And now we're to the swizzle part. And I did say I would show you a different way to actually swizzle. So normally you'd use a swizzle stick, which I don't have. However, what we are going to do is use a bar spoon. So what you want to do is you want to get a good scoop full of crushed ice here. And you just want to, you know, get yourself about half the glass. And so what we are going to do is we are going to take this and we are going to, in our hands, rotate it so that it actually gives us a proper propeller-like action. 
Uh, I did say propeller action, but it's more of an agitator. And if you think about it, uh, it's very similar to a milkshake machine because that just basically, on a spinning rotating post with a little piece of metal on the end, agitates it exactly the same way. Now you can put this in a fancy cocktail glass if you want it. However, this is all part of the excitement of this cocktail. I'm just going to add more ice to this because, you know, this is a fantastic looking cocktail and I'll just mix this through all the way so you get a good mixture of the ice. Add a little bit more. And what we'll do is we will add a little garnish of a dehydrated lemon on top like so. And there you have a Passion Grove Swizzle. And of course, grab yourself a straw and just go to town. Oh yeah. It is really good. You get the banana funk, but nothing is overpowering. It's actually well balanced, slightly sweet, and it's got great levels and flavors. If you like tiki cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right over here.